Welcome to the C.J. Lester Show, where the belief in the power of traditional values, the wisdom of the founding fathers, and the strength that comes from a nation under God is paramount. This show isn't afraid to speak the truth, even when it's not politically correct, because that's what real Americans do. So grab your coffee, settle in, and get ready for a show that feeds your mind, your soul, and maybe even gives you some ideas for feeding your family. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the C.J. Lester Show. I am your host, C.J. Lester, and it's glad to be with you today. I got a short video here for you. Just some real topics about real life that really needs to be talked about here on the Internet and around the world. Uh, number one is this is about pronouns, the stupid things that people are trying to make you call them. When there's only one and two, male and female. From Genesis chapter 1, verses 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish and the sea and over the birds, over the heavens, and over the livestock and over the earth, and over every creeping thing. That creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. And fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish and the sea. And over the birds of the heavens. And over the living things that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree that is a seed in its fruit. You should have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, to every bird in the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath or that has life, I have given every green plant for you for food. And it was so, and God saw that he made, and behold, it was very good. That's it. And he said, it was very good. That's all you need to know. And this is from the living word of God. And on this show, the C.J. Lester show, that's what we stand on. The word of God. And that's it. Now, I got something else for you. And it's, this video is going to talk about uh, identity. And there's another scripture in the Bible that talks about it. So watch this video with me. And I'll be back. Now, there's also a New Testament passage that says the same thing, basically. This is 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. It says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, people who have sex before marriage, right? Uh, or, or any kind of sexual activity outside of marriage. Neither fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, nor the effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves. Now the word effeminate there, by the way, is the word malakoi in, um, in Greek. And Malachi literally means soft men, and it is a reference to, to these men who would try to take on the appearance of a woman by the way they dress, their makeup, their jewelry, sometimes through physical modifications they made to their body. And of course, notice the Bible puts these people in the category of engaging in sin. So again, both Old and New Testaments address the issue of crossing gender boundaries in a negative light. Now, let me make an important clarification here before we move on. This, what I just said here, does not mean, nor am I suggesting, that we as males and females must adopt all of the stereotypical American perceptions of male and female you know, masculinity and femininity, okay? That is not the case. I am not saying that. In other words, if you're a boy 
If you're a guy and you don't like video games or football or starting fires or blowing things up, that's totally fine, okay? If you prefer art or ballet or playing the flute, that's perfectly fine. You're not a girl, you're not transgender. You're just a guy that prefers art or ballet or drawing, whatever, that's totally fine. And if you're a girl and you don't care about shopping or sappy chick flicks or Taylor Swift, that's okay, you know? If you prefer to just be in the garage with dad as he works in the car, that's fine. You're, you're not a boy. You're just a girl who prefers that, and that's fine. I'm not saying you have to act like the way an American girl or an American boy acts. This is not the point. The point the Bible's making, and that consequently I'm trying to share with you, is that it's, we are not supposed to try to take on an identity or pretend to be an identity that is different than that of our biology. It's dangerous. So you can see there from the Bible that God made male and female to be male and female, nothing else. So when they are adding to themselves other identities, that's of the devil. Anything that's not of God is of the devil. Now here's a uh, transaction that may happen through a senator, and I'm not sure who this lady is, but uh, it sounds like a prof professor or something. But I wish he would have said yes on one of these questions, but you'll understand where I, you know, wanted him to say yes. But listen to this. You said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. Would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my line of questioning. Because so we can't talk about it. Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can get <laughs> So you are pregnant. denying that trans people exist? Thank and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're question. opening up people to oh, violence We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot just in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Um, so you can see there, folks, that you know this world has totally gone haywire. And... Uh, God is not pleased with it. It's going to be like Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah before you know it. So, I got this one last clip I'd like to show, share with you. It was with T Tucker Carl Carlson. And uh, that would be all I want, wanted to show you. I wanted to bring this on so we can talk about it. Uh, you see on my screen there. So, let's talk about it. Comment. Share, share this. And... Follow me for more of these uh, types of discussions that I will bring on here from time to time. When something strikes my nerve and it has to be said, I'm going to come on and say it. That's what this show is all about. So here is Tucker, Tucker Carlson. It's vanishing middle class, but they are at the forefront of another fight rewriting grammar. Last week, the chair of the state Senate Judiciary Committee announced that only gender-neutral pronouns would be permitted on her, or rather, their committee. So that we are using what my uh, grammar, grammar teacher would have had a heart attack over. We are using the phrase they. My grammar teacher is long gone, and I won't be hearing from her. Um, and if any of you... From them, exactly. From they. 
Jason Nichols is a professor of African American Studies at the University of Maryland and a frequent guest on this show. They join us now. <laughs> um, I assume you is still loud, uh, so it's good to see you. Um, so, but I, I, I just, I'm really struck, this is a function of human nature, but the left is especially susceptible to it, that any dumb trend that comes along is accepted immediately and mindlessly by people who should like know Like MAGA that. hats? Uh, but no, well, MAGA hats have a very specific, you, you may disagree with them, but like they're calling for the election of a specific person. But like all the dumb people decided one day, like uh, pronouns are bad. And then we just sort of go along with it. Why? Again, Tucker, I, I don't think that what they're saying is pronoun nouns are bad. Mm -hmm. They're saying that you should be referred to the way that you choose to be referred to. So someone who is uh, a man who identifies as a man, yes, we can call that person he. Someone who identifies as a woman, that person can be she. But the, a person who is gender non-binary, they can be they or shim or sheer or whatever pronoun okay. they choose. So in general, I kind of agree. I call people whatever they want to be called. You right. get married, you change your name, I'll call you by that name. Exactly. Whatever. I, you, I think that's your right. And, and, and out of respect, I, I go along with it. That's not what they're saying. They're saying that you're not allowed to use gendered pronouns. That's very different. Yeah, and, and, I, and I actually find that problematic. I, I believe that people should have the opportunity to choose what they want to be called. I mean, that's, that's the way... You know, but there's uh, a problem here. This is look, this is California. So you've got more than 10 million people in California speak Spanish at home. Right. Spanish is a gendered language. Absolutely. That means it is structurally transphobic. <laughs> Will they allow Spanish to be spoken again, a gendered language in the committee room? Well, there, there are people, at least in the United States, who are, uh, you know, there's Latino, Latina, and Latinx. So they're trying to. Make it a little more gentle. But, the, but that, well. that's in English. I mean, that's how English speakers describe it. But there's no effort to impose these ludicrous rules on Spanish. And by the way, why not call California Californics? I mean, if we're really kind of <laughs> remaining consistent here. Yeah, well, I think California is the name of a place, and California can't <laughs> choose uh, how it wants but to identify. They're not letting us do. In other words, in, does it strike you, again, I think we agree that if you say, you know, I'd really like you to call me this, out of politeness and decency, which I sincerely believe in, I will, okay? Right. But they're forcing people to say something stupid. Shouldn't that be the point where the rest of us say, yeah, I'm not playing Well, see, the, the problem is that you're calling that stupid. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's stupid to, to say, I mean, there were people many years ago who said his name was Cassius Clay. We're not going to call him Muhammad Ali. That's stupid. And to me, it's like, no, whatever you want to be called, whatever you choose. Again, that's, that's again, I'm with, I'm with, that's I'm for pronoun. calling Cassius Clay Muhammad Ali because he wants to be called that. He's not No Cassius problem. Clay. I He's agree. Muhammad no Ali. problem. This is for, this is a command that requires people to refer to others who have not asked to be called this by a plural pronoun when it's a singular person. Right. It's grammatically incorrect, it's awkward, it's dumb, it doesn't serve the interests of anybody, and it applies to all of us, well, see, but everyone's too afraid to call it what it is, well, which look, is insane. First of all, language language is living and breathing. It changes, it shifts. If you listen to how people talked in the 1920s, they don't talk how they, they don't speak English the same way they speak English today. So, I mean... But isn't that an organic so process? That's not because some terrified little bureaucrat decrees that you must say this on pain yeah, of punishment. I, 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 hey, we're in agreement about decreeing that you have to speak one way or, or use a, pro, a per, particular pronoun for everyone. I don't like mandating speech Right, exactly. Okay, so we're in agreement. So then let's just very quickly assess, like, the response. Why We both agree with this. Why don't both of us, next time we hear this, say, you know what? No, I'm not playing along with your fantasy. Like, leave me alone, please. Well, no, I mean, Are look. Are afraid to do that? I think we're afraid I, to do that. No, I, I'm not afraid. I, if I were there, I would say, well, I prefer he. But, you know, I will call someone who wants to be called they, shim, sheer, whatever uh, pronoun you choose. Sheer? Yeah, that, that's another one. Um, okay. But not quite as popular. But if you want to... <laughs> Sorry. If you, if you want to call, be called something. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Look, I agree. You know? I just don't think that we ought to be coercive, but they always get coercive, don't they? Yeah, I, and I think that that is problematic. Yeah, okay. The, the fire of freedom burns brightly in your heart, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Professor, great to see you. Thanks, Tucker. Thank always you. fun. But it is stupid. I'll call it out when it's stupid. I go by this right here, the Word of God. And if you look like a female, 
you're going to be called a female. If you're male, you're going to be called a male, a he, whatever, because there's only two. And this is what this word says, male and female. So I hope you enjoy today. And again, like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with others if you believe in the same message as we do here on the CJ Lester Show. I really appreciate it. I thank you, and God bless. Till next time. And the main show will, again, be out on Sunday evenings at 6 o'clock. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Welcome to the C.J. Lester Show, where the belief in the power of traditional values, the wisdom of the founding fathers, and the strength that comes from a nation under God is paramount. This show isn't afraid to speak the truth, even when it's not politically correct, because that's what real Americans do. So grab your coffee, settle in, and get ready for a show that feeds your mind, your soul, and maybe even gives you some ideas for feeding your family. Let's dive in.